Okay, Google, can I use Strava to map my bike ride? On the website play.google.com, they say, Strava, track running, cycling and swimming. Track your fitness with Strava Activity Tracker. Record routes, map your favorite bike trail or run and analyze your training with all the stats for free. What is up everybody? It's your boy Polly P from PK's Bike Shop and today is Sunday Fun Day. And as we gave you a little hint in that intro, today's video is going to be about using a free app that anybody can use on their smartphone. We're going to use Strava. I've never done this. I actually sold my Wahoo Element Bolt to a friend of mine and I'm waiting for my new Garmin 830 to come probably Tuesday or Wednesday. I'm totally stoked to be a new Garmin dealer. Um, so I'm You'll be seeing some videos about that. But anyways, we're going to use the free Strava app, since I don't have a computer, and we're going to ride about a two-mile loop on a Jameis Taxi Beach Cruiser. Another thing that I'm super stoked on trying today, because we just got these taxis in. They're the number one beach rental bike in the whole country. You go to Hilton Head, you're going to see thousands of these folks. So I'm going to ride an 18-inch Jameis Beach Cruiser. I'm going to see what kind of a workout I can do. I'm going to get some sun. I'm going to get that vitamin D that's so vital. Everybody's talking about it. All the doctors are saying, get out there, ride your bike, walk, get some sun. Helps your immune system. So yeah, we're going to get some nice footage and we're going to see how everything works today. Hope you enjoy. Okay, so here is Hammering Haven, a Strava segment that as you can see in my screen recording of the iPhone, it's showing up on Strava. Here's Truly holds the record at 101. I'm so tempted to slap on my road bike because there is a little tailwind, although it definitely changed. First lap, I swear I could have set it on this beach cruiser. It was so, wind was so behind me. It was awesome, but there's always another day. Hammering Haven. It's a great thing about Strava and these GPS computers. You can race yourself, you can race friends, you can race the community. Just gives you a little extra motivation to uh, crush it, take your workout to another level. I've done four laps of five of this uh, 10 miles total. Absolutely beautiful day out. And I'm getting a great workout. So if the question was, can you ride a beach cruiser? Do you need a hybrid, do you need a road bike? No. This beach cruiser is giving me a great workout. I got one speed, one gear, but that's okay. Boy, this is definitely not the time to be shooting video. The light is awful, but it's nice and warm. I'm busting a great sweat. So, 
on this part, there's a heck of a headwind. Pretty much for this long stretch. And when you ride, you're gonna have that. You're gonna have headwind, tailwind, sidewind, hopefully no wind. But it just gives you a little variety when it comes to resistance. So if you don't have hills, always look for that wind to kick the workout up a notch. YouTube? Hey, I'm YouTubing it. Yeah, baby. Gotta love getting that character in the film. Awesome. Okay, so that was an awesome 10 miles. That was kind of fun. We got a new YouTube character out of, out of it. I passed the golf cart. Uh, it was, uh, wasn't was the best lighting as you saw from some of this footage here, but uh, boy, what an awesome sweat. I'm soaked and uh, I got a great workout. So to answer the question, will riding a beach cruiser be a great workout? Yes, you do not need a hybrid. Well, and I, let me just say that I live in Florida, so I have to deal with some wind, but no hills really. Uh, and if you do have hills, you will probably need gears. But for here in Florida or anywhere flat, if you have a flat route, beach cruiser, totally will do the job. So let's just take a look at what we got going here. We're gonna go to my feed on Strava and let's see what uh, transpired here. Here we go. So go to my notifications, already got some uh, kudos here. And there it is, 10.02 miles in 38 minutes and 50 seconds. And it's saying that I burned 300 calories. Well, that might not be super accurate because I didn't wear a heart monitor, but I definitely want to get one of those Garmin watches to be able to do that in the future. 15.5 uh, miles an hour, not bad for a couple little breaks and uh, fooling around with gear and all that. Easily could have been 16 and that's, that's, that's a nice pace for me, I like it. So, so yeah, there it is. Here's my route that I took, and of course, um, view analysis. Let's check this out from Strava here. Okay, so elevation gain, 253 feet, shows you my speed, max speed, 20.4 miles an hour, and uh, moving time, 38 minutes and 50 seconds. So, there you go, folks. The Strava app for free works great, and I think there's another one called Map My Ride. That one's a good one too. But if you don't have a cycling computer, if you want to look to see and, and learn what you're doing, um, it's free. Get it going, it's awesome. And uh, if all you have access to is a beach cruiser, that works. 38 minutes, I got a great workout, but it's not enough. So anyways, don't forget to like, subscribe, share, leave your comments, anything. Uh, we appreciate you guys watching our video, and uh, until the next time, right on.